Good morning, or afternoon, everybody. Yes, I am aware I have been away for a couple of days. It's been busy. A lot to do. I'm getting frustrated because I'm spinning my wheels. You know, I don't mind constant effort, but I like to make progress. And yes, being an INFJ, we're not the most patient, but we understand, you know, uh, the long game. But goal here, me here, steps along the way. Constantly spinning here. Bad. But I have a more interesting video today, and I'm going to challenge some more conventional wisdom, which means I need you to comment in this one because this, this requires feedback. I'm going to take a shot at the red pill community today ah uh, yes the red pill community that basically wants the um social structure of the 1950s the economics of the 1980s because we can't have the economics of the 1950s because eisenhower had a 91 percent uh top tax rate and he was a republican and the new deal was in effect so no 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 just the social stuff where everybody knew their lane and the world was even more of a good old boys club and uh, aristocracy, which where I live, it's still like that. But nonetheless, the conventional wisdom is essentially that, you know, women's purpose is to submit to their husband and make babies because... We're a th Christian theocracy, and that's what the Bible said, because that's what Eve did. You know, that that was since the beginning of time, that was Eve's role to Adam. What about Lilith? Don't talk about Lilith! <laughs> but, you know, the world changes, and people are different. People seek different things, and, you know, people are unique. We're not like these cookie-cutter, you know, you are... You must be like everybody else, because that's boring as hell. You know, this is what you are supposed to be, some cookie-cutter average Joe. Or, you know, you're a superstar because you were popular in high school. I know, I know. It doesn't make any sense to me either. But in this, I'm going to give a little scenario. This is to my female viewership, which 70%, according to my analytics, are female. And... I want you to decide from three choices of men that I'm going to describe. One is going to be the exalted alpha, you know, the king who is king because he says he's king. The rare and elusive sigma, which my, I myself fit in. And the sigma's like, oh, wow, you got leadership. You're good at this leadership thing, girl. You're a queen in your own right. I respect that. Need a prince consort? Yeah. You know, but we're we're the rarest of the three. And finally, the third is the, you know, subservient, yes, dear, simp. And I'm going to give an explanation of each of these three men, and I would like it if you would reply which one you best prefer, because nobody's perfect. Nobody can embody everything that you want. Now, one parameter I'm going to set forth before I go into these three explanations is that in all three, picture the male individual as somebody that you are attracted to. I'm not going to get into what they look like because that's subjective. You know, it's very, you know, subjective with height and size and race and eye color and, you know, muscular, skinny, you know, that, that, that there's just... There's no way to, for me to be like, well, this is what everybody wants, and this is the next year, you know, picture Chad. <laughs> no. But let's begin, shall we? So, choice one, the alpha. And I will give famous examples of each of these types to better paint the picture. So the alpha, you know, extroverted boastress, makes a lot of money, spends a lot of money, keeps up with the Joneses, drives a fancy car, loves telling everybody how much he makes and what he has. Most likely his only boss was ever his father. 
at least a lot of the ones that I've seen. But they'll tell you, too, like how they started at the bottom and, you know, work their way up. It's like, I started working for my dad at his dealership, and then after five years, he signed it over to me. Anybody could do that. Everybody's dad owns a car dealership. But nonetheless, frat boy type, you know, tons of one-night stands. All women want him, all men want to be him. You know, relatively decent shape. Um, talks about, you know, their athletic prowess, even though, you know, they were good in high school, but didn't play in college. So that superiority complex may be thus unearned. Uh, drinks a lot, you know, always, always flirting with women in front of his wife or girlfriend. Doesn't really believe that he bears responsibility in child care other than you know ensuring the bills are paid monetarily he's got it under control there are no in this scenario there are no money issues you know doesn't spend a lot of time at home obviously works a lot understandably given his salary but also spends a lot of time at the country club and the bar and the strip club get in the picture yeah this is, I'm describing basically the Andrew Tate type. Oh, and also, you know, cooking and all that, that that's women's work. He ain't doing that. And, you know, if you're going to be with, you know, the, the, what the fuck does he call himself? Top G. You know, you got to understand that, you know, player got to play and he's got women on the side because how can any man push away, like, you know, a hot, 22 year old that wants to hook up yeah I, I do it at the gym all the time but i'm a demisexual anyway choice two the rarest of the three the elusive sigma yeah top g number a guy we'll call him the king if you want a king that's what a king is and downsides are is that he's not very loyal he's very materialistic he's not in touch with his emotions he's not big on empathy he doesn't show his affection all the time like you know doing those little things all the time shows you how much he cares without being asked and without asking for anything in return expensive gifts oh yeah but you're expected to do things you may not want to or enjoy or maybe downright painful but hey that's just part of the deal and you're you know you're 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 eve you know you're eve you're essentially his property in the modern context back the choice too the elusive sigma the prince consort the lone wolf you know the quiet guy now sigma male he's a lot different you know he has some alpha qualities he can take charge certainly he's a protector but he only takes charge when the situation calls for it he's not the type to beat his chest and you know let everybody know he's boss but when shit hits the fan he can take charge and you know be a commander but he doesn't necessarily enjoy it you know it's a situational kind of thing um sigmas are moderately ambitious but sigmas are not driven by like money and monetary things obviously they don't they want enough to survive but a sigma if given the choice between you know a job you despise where you're constantly working to make three hundred thousand dollars a year or a job doing something where you believe you make the world a better place and you actually enjoy and have time for other things and you make eighty thousand dollars a year the sigma is going to choose the $80,000 one, because to a Sigma, you know, things like being understood, unconditional love, making the world a better place, trying to help others is far more important. Yes, we all have bills to pay, but at the end of the day, does it really matter if you're driving a Nissan instead of a Ferrari? Does anybody need a Ferrari? You know, why are you getting a Ferrari to show people you have a Ferrari so you can act as if you're better than them and make up for your lack of personality and character perhaps looks so you know transactional relationships ah but sigma's also a little different in a lot of ways too 
So in this scenario, the Sigma, yeah, he, he, uh, he, he's got his own thing going work-wise. He can set his own hours. And perhaps you're a woman who's a lawyer or a doctor or a successful businesswoman, runs her own business. You know, things of that nature that requires you to work a lot. So where do the children come in the play, huh? Well, there's of course nannies, which you can afford, but the Sigma would be like, well, I can cut back my hours. You make more money than me, and that doesn't bother Sigmas either. So the Sigma would be the guy who has no problem, you know, putting his career on the back burner and being the primary uh, caregiver for the kids. And also, you know, he wouldn't mind being the one who cooks and does that kind of stuff because in his mind, it's all about his relationship with you that matters. It doesn't matter what other people think. If the two of you are happy and we form, you know, something that is deemed unmainstream, okay, you know, she's happy, I'm happy, <laughs> babies are happy, everybody else can, you know. Anyway, so that's that's the Sigma. And the Sigma shows affection all the time, does little things without having to be told, isn't big on, like, throwing money at something. Sigma likes to spend a lot of time with you, although there is a catch, because while the Sigma can be social, you know, he, he and he'll spend a lot of time with you, he needs alone time, which time with just you and him would suffice as well. But I'm saying the Sigma can't always be in a large group for long periods of time. Very empathetic, understands you, has deep conversations, you know. Y you never doubt isn't the cheating type because he's demisexual. So you got that going. You know, doesn't join a country club or any of that. Yeah, so that's the Sigma. Three, the beta. Now the beta, average intelligence, works a meaningful job, you know, does his best to support his family, works overtime, but isn't, doesn't really have the leadership qualities, you know what I mean, is a, is a, is a foot soldier, not a lieutenant type. Um, but traditional in the sense that he would be bothered if, the woman makes more money than him, doesn't really care to do traditional, like anything that's traditionally female, like housework, he won't do it because he's worried that people will make fun of him, is worried about, you know, fitting in, was the average person in school that always admired the people on the top tier. Drives a Chevy, but knows how to fix it himself, so that's pretty cool. Does what he's told. You say you say jump. He says how high, on the way up. You know, isn't cheating because can't really doesn't have the options that the alpha has. But you know, you you catch his uh, browser history on his uh, on his computer and you see the way he looks at some of the people on TV and you wonder who he's thinking of during certain points of your marriage, you know, certain marital activities. But nonetheless, very compliant, you know, doesn't really take that good a care of himself, isn't really into health, isn't really into making the world a better place, or trying to stand out as an alpha, just status quo Joe, just you know, everything is is the way it is and just keep it the way it is. Like, don't rock the boat. Everything's fine the way it is. Society doesn't need the change. I don't need to be at the top of it. And this lone wolf idiot over here shouldn't be trying to change things. But we are. So, those are the three choices. Alpha, Sigma, Beta. King, Prince, Consort, Servant. Which do you prefer if you had the option of one of the three that in all three you're attracted to is it truly the alpha is money and status worth being cheated on being cast aside being traded in when you're deemed too old because you know top g's once you're at 
most 30 if 25 a lot of them say 25 but you know maybe 30 they got they got they need a new model unconditional love not a thing and the prince consort well you know you're here as the queen if you're a queen in your own right and he's here whereas you're here and he's here for the servant guy like the 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 prince consort type will take on roles that are not traditionally done by men and you know support you and your endeavors in your career if you're more successful than him because they don't even make sense but the career has to be something he respects it can't be uh you know you can't be playing keeping up with the joneses the sigma ain't gonna play along with that if you're like a civil rights lawyer or something and it's like yeah go get him you know that's awesome i'll sit back and you know i'll do i'll put my career on the back burner because you're doing important work get it and the servant guy is just happy to be married at all and yeah i think i explained it pretty well you you say jumpy says how high on the way up so i'm curious is your feedback you know because i have primarily women on this channel and i kind of want to dispel some of the myths that the red pill community says yeah there's probably some truth in it but you know i i can't imagine everybody's materialistic that's why i wanted to do this video too since primarily male regardless of male and female my audience on here is mostly intuitive types and that's really whose opinion i want you know because let's be honest a lot of times you can't get many intuitive types to speak up and express their opinion, so we're stuck with the opinions of censors, who, in more cases than not, we struggle to relate to and understand and interact with. So, yeah, please leave your feedback below. Show me that I'm not mad, or at least not that mad yet.